uh, over the past several years uh, that mental health in both uh, military and civilian sector has been recognized as a, as a shortcoming in our, um, in our medical treatment uh, of, of, of individuals, whether they be veterans or civilians. And so how the VA has handled that with uh, several mental health initiatives, along with additional funding from Congress to help facilitate both infrastructure improvements and personnel, whether they be psychiatrists, psychologists, or, or social work, those type of uh, specialties to help with that workload of the increased need. Okay, um, and uh, in June, um, we did see legislation signed by uh, President Biden, the, the Sergeant Ketchum uh, Mental Health Act. Um, I, I know that there's still guidance to come from, from the VA, but can you talk at all about um, the, the significance or the importance of that legislation? Uh, basically, that placed the importance on mental health. I mean, that gave it an additional uh, emphasis in both Congress and I think throughout the United States. It came with some funding and some directives that uh, speed up the the time with which a veteran is seen, whether they be new or res or residual or uh, reoccurring visits. And so it added some resources and some emphasis on the mental health treatment of veterans. Right. Um, and then uh, lastly, um, again, uh, you know, this weekend we celebrate 21 year anniversary. Um, I guess, what message do you have um, to, to Iowans, to Americans about um, this day? And, and do you worry that, um, you know, uh, with it, with, with being kind of removed from, from September 11th, that, um, you know, it might get lost in the national conscience? So uh, that is why it's called Never Forget. That's where that catchphrase or the, those words were born from, uh, Never Forget. And I, and I think, you know, going back to my father's generation, uh, he's a Vietnam veteran. We learned a lesson there about not forgetting those veterans and now there's much better uh, care and emphasis and resources for them. I see how he's treated now compared to how he was treated several years ago. And he's very proud now of being a veteran and how society treats him and how they look upon, uh, how we look upon that generation. Uh, I'm a 33 year army veteran myself. Uh, the things we've done for both our generation and the generation behind us to improve uh, the way society views our military, what they do for us and the security uh, and, and allowing folks to be able to sleep well at night those things have all improved greatly over the years. So as a, as in what I say, we call them gray beards, as an older Colonel that now teaches uh, instead of does, I would say that we have not forgotten and we instill in our younger generations not to forget the importance of what they do and why they do it for American society.